Actually, you know what? I'm feeling better now, so Are you I'm good. Because sure? yeah. I picked the last verse. No, nope, no, nope, I'm good. But you sound tired, Neil. You sound tired. No way you threaten me! <laughs> uh, there you see Tony host Neil Patrick Harris and Jesse Tyler Ferguson at last night's 60s Thanks Tony Awards that were held right here in New York City. Yeah, that's right, music and media consultant Bruno Del Granado back in the house with us this morning with all of the highlights. Good morning, sir. Morning, guys. How are you? You're headed back to the after party, though, after this, yeah, correct? Right. Good man. Okay, <laughs> so, of course, the Tony Awards are all about Broadway. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris, what did you think about? Third time yeah. is a magic charm. The guy is a born comedian, actor, right spot on delivery. He was fantastic. He started with a skit about the Book of Mormon, which was uh -huh. the big winner last year. He had everybody like eating out of the palm of his hands from the beginning to the end. He was amazing. There's also rumors, too, a little bit off topic, that he was a candidate, a leading candidate, to replace Regis Philman alive with right. Kelly. We haven't heard much about that. You know, yeah. He's making a ton of money from his TV uh, show, but he'd yeah. be great in that role. Yeah, he can this, do anything. This guy's the limit for him right now. Who were the big winners last night? Big winner was once. Walked in with 11 nominations, walked away with eight, including Best Musical Play. Uh, once, as you know, was a movie, an independent movie a couple years ago that did mm -hmm. very well in the art house circuit. Now it has swept over Broadway. The response has been tremendous, and uh, it walked away with eight awards. Big night for them, too. Big also night. big night for Mike, Mike Nichols. Nichols. Mike Nichols took on the greatest American play, Death of a Salesman, and he totally hit a home run with this. He won the Best Director. It was his sixth Tony out of 18 nominations he's gotten. Uh, and this has been the best received version of Death of a Salesman since the original launch in 19, uh, 1949. And I, and I think I, I may Diane. have seen his wife once or twice. She does yes, something in the mother. news business, right? Something? Yeah, Diane. Saying Sawyer, she, I think her last name is. She was there last night. Good night for that family. What were the big upsets? Newsies. Newsies is this Disney play that everybody's talking about being this tremendously successful, which it is actually. The movie version with Christian Bale failed, bombed a couple of about 15 years ago. Right. This play has generated more money in three weeks than the movie did in its life. Incredible. In the entire career. So it went in with eight uh, nominations. It only got two. But Disney will know how to milk this one because oh, cool. the play well, is sure a success. Will. Yeah, Definitely and we success. hope they milk it well. <laughs> for, our, for our sake, yes. too. And, of course, uh, in terms of best actor last night, yes. best performance by an actor, yeah. Huge upset. James Corden, the British comedian, one man, two governors, did tremendously talented guy, but he was up against Philip Seymour Hoffman mm -hmm. for Death of a Salesman, yeah. up against John Lithgow, Frank Langella, and he actually beat them. Mm -hmm. It was incredible. How do you think? Why do you think he won? Why, what would you think put him over the top? I think his comedic chop is tremendous, and Broadway likes that. They like newcomers right. who really show a knack for talent, for comedy, and for longevity. No, oh. in terms of the economics of Broadway, mm -hmm. people don't have as much discretionary income, but it's not affecting Broadway in the numbers. Is Absolutely it? not. Broadway uh, ticket sales right now are about 1.1 billion for this year, which is a record. Broadway generates about 11 billion dollars for New York City. 86,000 jobs jobs are created because of Broadway through mm. theater, uh, through advertising, through everything else. This is a huge money generator for the city of New York every year. It's New York City's biggest uh, local event. And, we, wow. and it, it's a defining thing for New York City, but all, it's also like the best example of Americana. I mean, oh. it's Broadway. It's the Great White Way. Seventy percent of the people who go see plays now are tourists from out of town. I believe oh, it. I live in that area, so I can vouch for the cameras and <laughs> I love New York buttons <laughs> passing through my... You don't have one of those? <laughs> no, no, buttons? I don't look too touristy. Bruno, thanks for always for being here. Yeah. Thanks, Shannon.